Hello everyone, it's Elena and I'm back with another video and today we're doing a what's in my bag for university video because I have done one quite a while ago and honestly things have changed because I use a different bag now so I thought it would be a good time for an updated video. Now before we get into it, I do have to say this video is sponsored by Seventeen London and they have sent me this backpack a few weeks ago um, and I gotta be honest with you, I was a bit suspicious um, because when they reached out to me and they were like, oh, would you like to have a free backpack? And then I looked at their backpacks and they all looked really, really lovely. Um, but they are quite affordable. They were like £35. Um, and I was just like, is this going to be like a quality backpack? Um, so, yeah. <laughs> I, I was a bit suspicious because before I had this one, I used a Kunkin, which is about, I think, £100. Um, because I have one of these laptop editions. And that one wasn't even waterproof, and that was over a hundred pounds. Um, so I was just like, mm, it's gonna work out. But honestly, I've been so pleasantly surprised. Um, I absolutely love it. And yes, their backpacks are waterproof, which is amazing. Um, and I have tested it because it rains a lot in Cambridge. And honestly, I wasn't expecting it to hold up, but it did. And everything inside the backpack stayed dry. And yeah, you need that when you're studying in the UK. So yeah, thank you so much for sponsoring this video and thank you guys so much for reaching out to me literally the day that I decided I'm going to buy a new backpack, which was just insane luck. So yeah, thank you so much for sponsoring this video and let's get into it. So um, we're going to start with the front pocket here and I don't have anything in this one because I just feel like it's really unsafe. Cambridge is a pretty safe city but I'd still not put anything of value in there because it's just so easy to take out. But I do have stuff in this zipper. And one thing I love about this bag is how many dividers it has in the different pockets. So even in this very, very small pocket, it has dividers. Um, they are relatively small, but I think they're really great for, you know, little products. So I don't know if you guys can see this, but there are these dividers here. So I just use them to put my hand cream and lip stuff in there. So I can easily reach it when I'm in class. Which I think is really, really useful because you don't need to, you know, look through your entire pocket. So in those dividers, I just have my hand cream, which is this one. It's, I think, some cherry blossom flavor. Um, I'm going to put everything that I'm showing sure you guys in the info box below if I can find it somewhere on the internet. Um, I quite like this one, um, but yeah, I just, you know, use it because somebody gave it to me as a gift. Um, so I'm using it up. And then I have my lipstick, which I always bring, even though I never fill it up. <laughs> But yeah, I have this illusion that maybe, you know, at some point I will remember to do that. But it usually doesn't happen. But hey. Um, but I do use this lip balm and I love this. This is amazing. It is quite pricey in my opinion. Um, but it is absolutely worth it. I have very dry lips and this helps me a lot. So I really, really love it. And I would highly, highly recommend this thing. Um, I think it's absolutely worth the money. Um, I think it is like... Five or ten pounds which is a lot for lip balm but it lasts forever and it is just so great so that's my absolute favorite thing and yeah then just loose in the pocket I always have a few pens just to you know take notes annotate my books um, so they're just always in there um, very important some tissues because you never know when you need them and then I have this which is some promotional thing. Um, you get these a lot when you're in uni um, at careers events and things, but they're really useful because they just give you post-its. Um, so when you do readings, you can just you know take these things out and just use the post-its, which is what I do. Um, so that's why I always have one of these promotional things in there. And yeah, then we have a lot more pens, um, as always. I'm a bit of a collector of pens, I guess. So here we go. And then we have my hair tie. Um, I don't know why, but this specific pink hair tie has traveled from backpack to backpack for me. Um, so yeah, that's the hair tie. I don't know if other people have like a specific hair tie for each bag. I do. I know it's kind of weird, but yeah, <laughs> that's that. And that's pretty much everything that's in there. Oh, except for this little mirror. Um, which looks super fancy. <laughs> um, my mom got this for me for Christmas, um, but it's literally just, you know, a compact mirror. Um, so if I ever remember to freshen up my lipstick, I could use it. The only problem is I don't remember. So 
yeah. <laughs> And next we're gonna look at this pack right here. And this is honestly one of the biggest advantages of this backpack, this extra zipper pocket. I didn't really think I was gonna use it, but then like I start using it. I love, I love it. I love, you know, having this extra pocket because you can put some stuff that you need quick access to in there and it's just so useful. So I put my card holder in there because it contains my card for, you know, getting access to, well, pretty much any building in uni, so. This is really important. And then it also contains my credit card and my ID and stuff like that. Um, by the way, if you're in university, I would highly recommend getting a card holder. I absolutely love it. Um, and I basically never bring my purse because you can just use your card holder, so. And then I also have my AirPods in here. Um, I bought these a while ago, but I quite like them. But um, honestly, the noise cancelling is good. But if you're looking for you know, something that really cancels noise, if that's the main objective, then I wouldn't recommend getting AirPods. I would recommend getting actual headphones because I think they cancel noise much better. Um, the reason I got AirPods was because I think they're just more portable. And I'm somebody who wears, um, you know, bigger earrings quite a lot of times, and those can damage those big headphones. So that's why I wear my big headphones at night um, to listen to my sleep stories on calm because that's how I fall asleep. Um, yeah. But I do bring these with me over the day, but definitely the noise cancelling is good. Um, I'm not mad about it. I quite like them. But if you're really looking for good noise cancelling, then I would recommend going for actual headphones. But in general, these are not bad. Um, I definitely don't regret buying them. It's just, you know, it depends on what you're looking for. Um, and then I also have my key in here so that I can get back into my room. And it has this cute little um, keychain, which I stole from my mom. And I know she's gonna watch this video, so hi mom, here's your keychain. No, I'm not gonna give it back. And then I also have this thing in here. Um, so this is just, you know, a little pin basically for your hair and you can just put your hair in a bun and then you just put it in. And it's super, super useful. Like I really, really like it because unlike a ponytail, when you take it out, it doesn't hurt on your head. I don't know if you guys know this problem, but like for me, if I had a ponytail for a few hours, it just really hurts when I take it out. So I quite like just using this. And I feel like it doesn't really change the wave of my hair, if that makes sense. Because with curly hair, you know, if you put it in a style, sometimes the curls kind of flatten out. And then when you take out the hairpins and everything, it looks really weird. And I feel like with these, this problem is kind of avoided. So I really like them. Unfortunately, I have no idea where my mom got these. These are like 15 years old. Um, so if you guys know a store which sells these things, I would really appreciate it if you could share it with me because I want some more. Um, so and yeah, that's everything that's in this zip pocket. This one doesn't have any dividers, but it is quite spacey, so you can get quite a lot of stuff in there. Like, it is quite a big pocket, which is great. Um, and I really like it for just the quick access of just putting my key and stuff in there because when you then, you know, arrive at your door in the dorm, you can just quickly take it out and you don't need to search, you know, within all the other stuff in the lower pocket. And next we're gonna look at, you know, what's actually inside the backpack. I don't put anything in these side ones. Um, you can definitely do that. I just don't because it rains a lot in Cambridge. So I don't really want anything in there. Though I think actually I could put my umbrella into one of these side thingies. It wouldn't really make much of a difference because if it rains, I take it out anyway. Um, so I could actually do that, but I normally keep it inside here. So this is what the inside of the backpack looks like. Um, so we're going to look at this part here first. So I really love that once again, we have a lot of dividers in here, which is great. Um, so the first one up here is once again a zipper and in there I just keep my plastic bag and I'm going to explain to you guys now why. And this is really like my number one tip if you live in a country where it rains a lot. Bring a plastic bag. Why? Because when it rains and your umbrella gets wet and you know you need to put it back into your bag, don't put a wet umbrella into your bag. Like just don't. Um, and you don't want to carry this wet thing with you the entire day. So you just take the umbrella and you put it in a zip bag. Yeah, that, that's my one life hack. That's the only life hack I have to share on YouTube. But like when, when I discovered this trick, I was really happy. I have no idea how I learned it, but yeah, bring a zip bag, kids. And yeah, then here we have another pocket. And in there, I sometimes just put my charger for my iPad. 
I don't bring my charger every day, but on the really long days where I have lectures from 9 to 5 and I take notes on my iPad in every lecture, I bring a charger just to be safe. Um, I have never needed it. Um, my iPad usually lasts pretty well, but you know, better safe than sorry. And then we get to these pockets here. So in here I keep my adapter to which I need quick access. So this is my big adapter basically because Apple had this amazing idea to give us MacBooks which only have a USB-C because they thought, you know, everybody's just gonna abandon USB like that. Yeah, no, <laughs> that really didn't happen. And at university, we still use USBs. So I just always bring this adapter just, you know, to be safe in case I need it. And then I have this other adapter, which I keep in this net pocket here. And this is really an adapter I don't need a lot, but I do have it with me just in case. Um, because sometimes some university rooms don't have an adapter ready and then it's useful to have it. This is an adapter for the projectors. So um, you always need this if you have a Mac because yeah your Macs don't have this particular port so you always need an adapter for a Mac I would highly recommend just getting one you can get a cheaper one on just Amazon um, I made a big mistake when I bought this big adapter from Apple I really regret it it was ridiculously expensive you can get really cheap ones on Amazon so would not recommend buying this it's just an adapter and then i also always keep one little aspirin in here um so this is just you know in case i get a headache um i don't have headaches a lot but when i do get them i think it's just super annoying when you're in a lecture so i have these dissolvable aspirin tablets and for me they work um i'm a medical professional i have you know, no idea and I cannot give you any advice on anything like that. Um, but I just sometimes get a headache, so I just take them, dissolve them in my water bottle and quickly drink it. I mean, it tastes disgusting, not gonna lie, um, but it just helps. Um, so yeah, you know, for the once every two months, I have this aspirin tablet in here just to be safe, so I don't need to worry about that. So now let's take a look at the inside of the backpack, so basically the rest of it. So I always have my water bottle with me um, because you need to stay hydrated. Um, and then I also usually have some law books with me. Um, this backpack is a bit smaller than my old backpack. So I would say this book fits pretty comfortably in it. But um, probably just one other small book and that's it. Um, so it is a bit smaller than my other one. But honestly, I think that's good because I'm this kind of a person that if you give me a big bag, I will bring like five of these books. And you know, my back doesn't really say thank you for that <laughs> because it's really bad for you. So um, I think in a way it's actually good because it is forcing me to limit myself to a few law books and not just bring my entire library because it's not healthy. Um, and then I also have my iPad in here, which really just fits the backpack. Like, it is the perfect size. Like, you can see, like, this is exactly the height of it. Um, so, yeah. Um, I do have a massive case, and I do have the big iPad. I believe this is 12.9 inches. Um, and then I have this, like, extra thing up here for the pencil. So, I know it is pretty big. So, yeah. Is it called the Apple Pencil or the Apple Pen? I feel like it's the Apple Pen. That's irrelevant. Anyway, um, so I do have my Apple Pen pencil in here. Um, and then I have my iPad in there. Um, this is, I believe, the 2017 iPad, 12.9 inches. It does have a home button, so it's one of the older ones, but I really, really like it. Um, I find it really useful for university, and I take all of my lecture notes on here. But I always say this, I don't think an iPad is a replacement for a laptop. Um, personally, I edit pictures and videos and things like that. Not sure if my iPad would be up for that. I haven't tried it to be honest, but I have tried a little bit of photo editing on it. It was alright, but yeah, I would always prefer using a laptop for that. So I do also have a laptop and um, I also use that laptop just for writing any reading notes and anything like that. So this one's in here and this is a MacBook and it's just called a MacBook, not MacBook Air or anything like that. I believe they stopped making these, um, which I think is so sad because I love this. Like for me, this is the perfect laptop for university. It is relatively small, um, it is super thin, so you know, you can just bring it with you anywhere. And the cool thing is, they made these in pink, <laughs> um, and in case you couldn't tell, um, 
Elena loves pink, <laughs> so you know it, it was just the perfect laptop for me. So I'm really sad that he stopped making these, but yeah, for me it's a good laptop for uni. So if you can get your hands on one, I would recommend it. And yeah, that's pretty much everything that's in here. Um, there are two side pockets in here, um, and I keep my umbrella in one of them. And then there's this pocket in the back where I always keep my laptop. Now, one thing that I do say is, I think it's a bit sad that um, there is no, you know, zipper up here um, with like a separate little compartment for a laptop or an iPad. Because I think that's something that I really appreciated about my other backpack, that you could just quickly take those out. Um, because now in lectures, I just kind of always have to like, you know, grab into the back and like pull it out. Um, it's not a big deal, <laughs> and this is really complaining at a very high level because I mean this is a 35 pound backpack and I think it's really amazing um like I honestly would give this like five out of five so um but that's just the only minor thing which I would say but other than that I really really love it and yeah I mean the fact that it's waterproof just that sold me on the backpack completely and there is one more little compartment here um it's quite small I guess you could just you know put like your phone in there I always have my phone just in my pocket so it doesn't really matter I don't really use this one but yeah there's one more compartment if you want it but yeah that's everything that's in here on some days I have some other things in here so sometimes I do bring all of my highlighters um, which is just like a massive collection of highlighters um, I use these um, when I bring my notes so when I have to annotate things then I bring highlighters just to make sure that I can highlight anything important on my reading notes I do this as a preparation for supervision so sometimes you will find that in my backpack as well and I have all of them in this little pencil case which was originally intended for brushes um, from this Morphe and Jeffree Star collection wouldn't recommend the brushes but I think the pencil case looks pretty cool so yeah and that's pretty much everything that's in my backpack. Every once in a while there's like a few snacks in there um, for longer days. Um, those I just, you know, throw on top of all the other things in here and that's completely fine. Um, I really, really like this backpack. So if you are looking for, you know, a new backpack for uni that is affordable and actually amazing quality, which I really didn't expect. So thank you so much 17 London for sending this to me. Um, you can find a link to it in the info box below if you're interested. Um, yeah, thanks so much guys for sending me a backpack when I actually really needed one, which was really lucky for me. So yeah, and if you guys would like to see my old what's in my bag video with my old backpack and two other bags because I alternated between three, which was a bit much. <laughs> so yeah, if you guys are interested in that one, I'm going to link it in the description box below for you guys. And you can also click on it in the end card. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye.